Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are safe and sound and making the most of whatever time it is that you have left in the upcoming exams. Now, this is a question that I get asked a lot and that is, how many years of posturepress do I need to solve and in which order should I do them? So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now, a bit of a disclaimer over here is that remember that there is no divine sequence in which you need to solve posturepress, okay? And just like that, there is no magic number as to how many years of posturepress you need to practice. Focus on the quality, okay? Make sure that you're getting a decent grade and you're getting that consistently, not on the quantity, okay? Now, when you're solving posturepress, as anyone would tell you, it's always best to start from the recent ones. That means start from 2022, okay? And then go backwards. Now, do keep in mind that the last time there was a major change in the syllabus was in 2018, okay? Since then, there hasn't been a major change. So 2022 to 2018, you need to solve paper one and paper two. And the variant that you need to solve is variant two, okay? So if you're watching this in Pakistan, that's your variant, so that's what you need to solve. Now, once you're done with this, 2022 to 2018 is five years of past papers, okay? And including both sessions. That means the May-June session, which is the summer session, as well as the winter session. So you can say that this is sort of like the first sequence that you need to follow, starting from 2022, then backwards, and solving, solving both sessions. That is the May-June as well as the October-November session. Okay. Once you're done with this, then what you need to do is you need to go back to 2022. What do I mean by that? That means when you go back to 2022, and then you come backwards to 2018, except that this time you're going to be solving the other variant. That means you're going to be solving 11 and 21. And this time as well, you're going to be doing both the sessions, the May, June session, as well as the October, November session. Why? Because like I said, there hasn't been a major change since 2018. So you have to make sure that the topics that were added in 2018, you get the most amount of practice of that. And also you don't end up practicing something that has been removed from our syllabus. Now, once you're done with this, that's great, by the way. That means you're you're extremely well prepared, given that you're getting a decent score and you're getting that score consistently. If you're if you're if you're in that situation, that's awesome. Now, once you're done with this, once you're done with these two sequences, that's great. You and given that you're getting a good score and you're getting that consistently, brilliant. But let's say you still have a lot of time left and you want to make sure that you leave no stone unturned and you make the most of whatever time it is that you have left. So from this point onwards, you can start solving 2017. And again, you can solve 12 and 22. That is paper one and paper two, variant two. And then, you know, you can do the same variant side by side because from this point, from 2017 and backwards, there hasn't been a major change. So if you're practicing, might as well do the variant along the way. And same applies here as well, the May, June session, as well as the October, November session. However, one thing to keep in mind is there are some topics that you need to avoid. Not like major topic, okay? But let's, there. there's this topic transformation. I'm sure you know of it. In transformation, if you ever come across, and this I'm talking about 2017 and backwards. In transformation, if you come across, let's say, share, okay? So make sure that you skip that because that's no more part of our syllabus. The four transformations are still are, that is reflection, rotation, enlargement, and translation. All right, share is no more part of our syllabus. And just like that, stretch is also no more part of our syllabus. So every time you come across a question that's dealing with share or stretch, just make sure that you avoid that. Okay, now this is, in my opinion, the best sequence that you need to follow. And that's it. This is what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.